Okay, so I want to make a soundtrack for my photo slideshow that I have here that I've made in iMovie. I'm just going to tap play so you can see it here. So it's a really nice looking slideshow about sea turtles, but it's kind of boring because there's no music with it. I mean, the photos look nice, the title look nice, but it's kind of boring because there's no music. So I'm going to tap on done. And I'm going to notice right here that it says it's 37 seconds long. So if I take 37 seconds and I divide it by 2.15, that's when I get 17.2. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to round down and say I need 17 seconds. Uh, sorry, not 17 seconds because it is 37 seconds. I need 17 bars, 17 bars or measure, measures of music. So I'm going to go to GarageBand and get my 17 bars. Okay, so I'm just going to open up GarageBand here. Start a new song for my awesome sea turtle one I'm going into here. All right, so I'm going to tap the plus button up here, tell it I want to create a new song. And just for anything, I can just, just pick audio recorder here. You just need to get to the tracks viewer. So I need to get to this point here. It doesn't really matter what instrument you, you tapped on just then. So um, here's my measures up here. So I'm going to tap the little plus button over on this corner and tell it um, section A needs to actually be not 8 bars, but it needs to be 17. So I'm just hit the tap button up there, increase it to 17. Okay, so now I have 17 bars of a song, and I'm ready just to go use my loops and make a new song. Okay, so I've finished making my song now in GarageBand for my famous Sea Turtle slideshow. Okay, so it's ready to go. I'm ready to send it over to um, iMovie. So I'm going to tap my songs. This is going to save it, and here it is right down here, okay? And then I'm going to use uh, the tap and hold. Okay, so now that it's jiggling and I've got it highlighted in blue, I can use the share button up here, that, always that box with the arrow coming out of it. I'm going to tap open in. Okay, this is just, you're just uh, picking the name of who wrote it and who did it and everything and what quality. Tap on the share. Now it's exporting it. Okay, so now my first choice right up here, yours might be over here somewhere, but open in iMovie, okay? So tap on open in iMovie, and it sends it over to iMovie right here, and I want to attach it to this one right here. So it tells it right there, and there it just adds it right there. Just check to see the length is good. Yep, goes all the way to the end of my song, I mean the end of my slideshow, and here we go. Let's press play. Isn't that so much better? I got music with my slideshow. This is sounding great. Oh yeah. I'm getting an A for this one. All right, there you go. That's how to use a GarageBand to write a soundtrack for an iMovie.